Hi guys, this is Mikey, also known as Big Knees, and I've been playing Axie Origin since the Alpha version. I'm a competitive player, that's why I managed to reach top 1k in the last season. And lastly, the pick rank that I reached in the rare era for season 2 was top 87. And I am, accept I am accepting this challenge because I believe that budget and B2 access can still compete in Axie Origins in the, and in the leaderboards either board specifically. My team is composed of agro-type axes which is focused on flexibility. What does it mean? Aside from the huge damage output it produces, you also have the ability to target enemies and uh, the option to provide a debuff. Aside from that, the capability to burst the enemy using Cotton Tail and Goldfish is just satisfying. Um, that being said, let me introduce you to my team. First of all, my creme de la creme, or my featured Axie, is the Koi Aqua. I got this last November for less than $1 or less than 100 pesos in PHPH. This Axie is sort of a sustained Aqua that does shield and lifesteal for sustainability while providing huge amount of damage. So yeah, my second Axie is my plant Axie, my mid Axie. So this provides uh, two dispels, specifically bleed for the Nyan ears and little piece for vulnerability. I also have confidential cleansing and rage purposes and of course cactus for taunt. I also have cotton tail that is good for combo burst and running for big damage output. Um, I only got this for 0.006 or less than $10 or 500 pesos. And lastly, my backlane Axie, which is a beast Axie, is also one of the key players as it provides huge amount of damage using the Belieber um, and Piranha for the lifesteal as well and Cotton Tail for the combo burst. And I got this for 0.014 ETH slash January 12. This cost around uh, 20 US dollars back then or less than 1,000 pesos. So I'm currently in game showing you um, the positioning and the boots and charms that I am currently using. So first off is my Koi Aqua, which is the front one. I'm currently using Pure Power for this one. You can also use uh, Last Wish or Calcium Armor for a tankier build if you're using Calcium Armor and Last Wish for the area of attack um, damage when it dies. And of course, I'm using the typical Aquatic Charm of Power Energy Drink. S and then Charm of Power as well for the neutral ones. And for the second one, I'm using Energy Shard for um, burst damage. I usually use this because I get to have the energy fragment first. And if I if I go round one, if I go for round one, I usually get to combo my Cotton Tail and then do an energy burst combo on the fifth round most of the time or on round six. So yeah, I'm using this for a tankier build, this charm of vitality and a beast energy drink and a little piece. And as for the third one, so yeah, as for my third acti, I'm using um, Way of Beast. And as all of you know, Way of Beast provides two rage stacks and when comboed with the lever, it has provides huge, huge amount of damage and of course, I'm using Charm of Power for the other attack cards and Charm of Fate for additional heal for Cotton Tail. So, in the next part of this video, I'll be showing you a replay wherein I get to combo Cotton Tail and Goldfish and also Energy Shard for the extra energy fragment on my first round. So, let me play the replay. And as you can see, I already have the extra energy fragment on my first round. So on my second round, I'll be using Tactic for um, to redirect the damage on the turn 2 for, of the opponent. And I'll be um, keeping Goldfish for my next round. And as you can see, I drew skill cards and I will get to trigger the goldfish for 
um, extra energy fragment. And yeah, I'll be triggering the Cotton Tail as well for the seven energy fragments. I, I'll deal a huge amount of damage to the enemy. Okay. As you can see, I have, I have already consumed seven energy fragments, and then I'll be using the cotton tail of my mid lane axie, and then I'll be just using running to finish the mech up. I'll be speeding up the replay. The believer believer damage is also insane with the two rage stacks. It dealt uh, 144 damage with just one energy cost. I'll use, I'll use Koi, I have used Koi to finish that beast and then I'll be using Little Beast for vulnerability and I'll have the Cotton Tail for extra energy and then I'll be using Piranha to finish the fight. As you can see, it's a 3v1 situation, but of course I snagged a victory. Yeah, that's how you finish it with style. So yeah, that's how my cop works. It's an aggro type build with a little bit of sustainability and uh, energy burst or combo power. And I have been using this for uh, a day or two. And as you can see on my replay, it's a win and loss. Yeah, a loose trick on this one, but I get this mega victory as well. So yeah. So that's it guys, um, that's my Axie Budget Challenge entry and I hope you guys enjoyed my video and keep grinding. Bye bye!